Infinity Walk Rain week in the Crew Motorfest, where we got new cars, returning cars, the last ever returning cars, a brand new summit, a custom shop, and so much more. And yes, you're watching a Sid Waj who's long past daily slop. You're watching a Sid Waj who gets out daily actually substantive content, so if that isn't a reason to subscribe, head down there and subscribe. Boom! Car number one. What do we have in the custom shop? The Liberty Walk Summit Week Under Edition Summit Car. This is a grand race of all time. <laughs> the Nissan GTR Arrow Edition. The Rage One. We also got a brand new main stage this month, which I've already completed all of the revisit and the competitive and the exploration. I speed ran them on the first day. And now we're up on the main track with another brand new vanity item. But obviously, like all of them now, a recognizable old car. Every month there's also a free base car. And this month it's the Mazda RX-3 in the Explore. The last, we got the Turn It Up. Hang on, I haven't even seen that. Not the right time? Wait, that's so good. Wait, I missed that? What? Why did no one tell me? When when was this? That's so good. What? When did I miss this? No. <laughs> Wait, that's so good. Man, that one too. When did I miss these? Ivory Tower, please bring back the clothes and the animations in the main stage legacy as well. Please. Holy hell. I understand everyone who says FOMO bad. That's actually got me livid. Damn, I'm, I, I'm so an Now I've got every single brand new car customized, made up, done up. I think the only thing left to do is we'll jump into a grand race. What do we have in the custom shop? Thin line, I've already got that. That, I've already got. Okay, I've already got that as well. Oh, they're giving away. That is one of the best underglows in this entire video game. I also have that. What the hell is that? Is that a Transformers underglow? <laughs> what? Well, there's a brand new vanity in there. That, that's brand new. Why are they giving away a Transformers underglow? Because I've already got something submitted. I've got a Mango Liberty Walk Summit Week. Before I go into the summit, look, can I just say, Ivory Tower, your heart was in the right place. Yeah, what a, what a, what a, unfortunately, unfortunately, a, a bit shoddy job on the part switching. I mean, look, it's nice that I can switch my parts in the summit if I know exactly what car has my parts on them. And if I have, heaven forbid, I have parts on the car I'm on right now, those numbers mean nothing to me. Those numbers are what the car that I'm hovering over right now will have after I do the part swap. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. I guess we've got the other end of the Transformer underglow there. We got an MX-5. We got in here another uh, uh, all stuff from the Crew 2. Any exclusive rewards? No. Cool image, though. Very cool image. That's a Japanese custom Vault 2. We got Japanese Toge, which I guess this time around it's Forsberg based. We got Chicago Heist, the Nissan Nismo. We got... We got some good stuff. We got, we got, we look, we've got some good stuff. And then obviously the KRC Japan at the end of the month. You still have to know which car has your parts on it. I mean, there, there you go. That's what had my parts on it. Now, if I had affixes of my own, that extra pump and pure would have just been lost somewhere in those affixes. And also, it's not saying that I've got it nitro chem, which I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, but look, it's as simple as no one really cares about the change to the affixes. What you should put is selected car affixes, swap car affixes, so you can compare the two. And maybe even put the name of the car, right? Put the affixes for the current car up here, have this become a menu with the current affixes, and then have the other affixes over there. Whatever. Hourly Sidwaj ran over. <laughs> In the Crew Motorfest, celebrating all Liberty Walk customizations and whatnot, except most of them are crew homemade Liberty Walk customizations. Meaning, yeah, basically it's the equivalent of playing the Liberty Walk playlist. Where you think it's gonna be Liberty Walk, but instead there's only really two Liberty Walk cars, and the rest of them are just kind of the crew customized cars. It's a good enough cop out. It's a good enough cop out. But what's the law here now? Is the Lucky Dragon actually a Liberty Walk car? I mean, that's a sick Summit car, but what, is it technically Liberty Walk now? This Diablo might as well be bone stock. Okay, no, never mind. I take, I take that back. <laughs> the Raiduo. The brand new main stage car in the... What is this? 
like a Japanese custom week, month. Gotta be one of my favorite Summit cars, just visually. Ooh, I put these on? Bloody good call from me. Then smoke, uh, anything gold would be way too tacky. Yeah, gold nitro makes sense. Then we got no underglow, but I mean, one of the more, I don't know, streety ones couldn't be that bad. I mean, I don't even know if I want blacked out. I like that you can see the gold roll cage in that. But then again, this car feels premium. It feels luxury. It, oh, it feels... Can you shut up? It feels like you'd see it cruising around. Okay, see, I tried to... I just zoomed in. It would be great to, like, rev my... Uh, uh, is every one of my videos just gonna be like, God, it would be great if we could do this instead? I mean, I mean it, though. It'd be great if we could rev here. I mean, used to be you didn't have to just listen to the horn as it goes. Used to be you could just, like, scroll through and then click it yourself if you wanted to hear it. We're gonna redline a kid. I'm not gonna lie, the crew cola on top would go hard, but uh, I'll go against it and we'll put the Japanese, uh, we'll put, we'll put that. Oh, hang on, I didn't even check liveries. What have people done to this thing? And unfortunately, this thing has been in the game for ages now, so, I mean, the answer is probably people haven't done a lot to this thing. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the livery creators seem to have woken up now that the game is good again. Um... Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, uh, bone sock, the little. Ooh, I mean, a hooligan one's kind of nice, I guess. None of these are really tickling my fancy. And it doesn't take a lot for my fancy to be tickled. Whoa, whoa, that's a cool effect. Whoa, that's a very cool effect. Yeah, I would, but it's. It's not exactly hip to be Ubisoft nowadays. The white looks nice, but I'd need to see what it looks like actually in the world, not in the void. Which. <laughs> which. Would you, would you, would you look at that? Also happens to be one of the suggestions I've made that uh, I even made concept images for. They're, they're for free, Ivory Tower. Go ahead, take them. Oh, it was, j oh, the RX3 Turbo is like glued on. You can't, okay. It's actually quite nicely done. Okay, honestly, no, it isn't. <laughs> Speaking of the Liberty Walk playlist, let's talk about it while I play the Summit event. I don't know if you'd remember, uh, uh, quite a while ago, they boosted a playlist. Eight whole events are being boosted. But, but why? <laughs> Activating boosted rewards on the Vintage Garage playlist. Uh, for no reason, randomly, during a week they boosted a playlist, specifically the Vintage Garage playlist, and I used to think maybe it was because that playlist didn't get much players, but it's got one of the best money grinding events in it. Surely Vintage Garage can't have been the least played playlist, but they boosted it randomly. They gave it like more money and bucks and, and, and XP per event that you did in that playlist. But that's so strange because they never have done anything like it since. Even though right now would be the perfect time to boost, hmm, I don't know which one, which playlist would be worth boosting right now. I don't know, boost the Liberty Walk playlist. I don't know why they don't do like a boosted playlist, I don't know, every month, every week. It surely like and then like set it as a thing so people know that the playlists are boosted I mean, it's a it's a simple enough Reason to replay the playlist put like a completion bonus on the playlist uh, Every week or so like if you replay a playlist in the playlist configuration all the way through Even if you've played it before if for that week you play it all the way through the for the first time you get a bonus 200,000 bucks. I know this is another addition to the, the piling heap that is Sid Waj going, please Ivory Tower, couldn't you just do this? But this one's topical because it's the Liberty Walk Summit. It's the Liberty Walk Week and they didn't boost the Liberty Walk playlist when they have randomly boosted a playlist before. <laughs> this event has gone pretty well, all things considered. Here we go and bet on this grand race. <laughs> Oh, damn! That thing's sick! <laughs> oh, what is going on? Look around! We got a wheelie dog, we got a Range Rover riced out, and we got that terrible looking Audi. This is a grand race of all time. <laughs> Bet on this grand race. Where do you think I'm going to finish? All of your bets are with your metaphorical chips. Those chips, you will lose all of them if you're fully off the money. You will double your chips if you get bang on the money, and if you're two either side, you lose half your chips. You have until 10% to bet where I finish. You've got 3% left. I need to catch up to this pack over here. If I catch up with these lot, we're looking at 
high up unless I completely bottle it. But also, you don't know what other cars I'm using for the street section and the other section. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh. Oh, wait. Betting closed. Completely missed it. Betting's closed. The first car is the Mazda RX-3 Rage World, which I already mentioned. One of my favorite so, like addition cars in the game but one thing you may not know is this was a bronze summit car you had to only get bronze to unlock this car in the crew two meaning if you got one point in one event in the summit you would have gotten this exclusive car it's still exclusive in the crew two it'll probably be in just the list of endlessly rerunning summit cars but in Motorfest now, it was locked, and now everyone can access this car again, and it'll come back in the main... Well, they can access it if they play it right now. And then once it disappears, it'll come back in the main stage legacy. A pretty good, a pretty good main stage car, except I hate that it's back because it was funny that my friend Josh didn't own this car when it was literally given out to everyone. He just forgot to play that week, and now he's going to own this car. And that's got me upset. Schnitzel man. Me and you, me and you, Schnitzel. We're gonna go miles, okay? We just back and forth slipstream, and we're gonna go miles. Or I immediately gap you? Well, car number two is the... Oh, we can make it green. Oh, oh, these color schemes. Oh, they're the only thing we can do to it, though. We can't make it any other color. We can only make it the ones that it lets us. I love how every car recently just has semi-slicks. Shout... You know what? Shout out to the one guy at Ivory Tower who keeps... Pu I, probably not even one guy. Shout out to the to the team of, of people who keep putting semi-slick tires on every single edition car. Slash! Damn you lot, because I want a, a base vanity option of these, so I can put them on any car, man. Give me a base vanity option. <laughs> Damn, the new customization looks so cool! The red and white, I went with this red RWB livery, and then I put on, well, the red and white color scheme as well. Oh, it looks so good, man. Damn. Damn. Oh, this is such a bad route. Oh, that's so unlucky. We're on a highway route, which means it's just going to be us just holding R2 simulator. We're just sat here doing nothing. Oh, we're getting caught up to by a Liberty Walk Supra. It's the battle of customizers. RWB versus Liberty Walk. Oh, you watch yourself. But we're kind of glued seven. 7th or 8th? If you bet around 7th or 8th, I, I guess you're probably going to be good. Also, a fun fact, which I will get, which which will get a dedicated video. The Porsche Taycan, this one, the best in the spec. It's one of the best street cars in the game. And you know what's funny? I was this close to not getting it. It was a Tuesday. I'd just come back from... Looking at art with Black Panther, his missus, other knobheads, and as in the knobheads, I wasn't just calling them knobheads. And Deck Games, the kingpin of Motorvess on TikTok, came back from eating fancy and being in an art gallery, and I was exhausted by the end of the day, and I was like, do I just skip this so that I can get a video buying it from the Summit store? way later and then i was like oh but you know i don't know how long it'll take for this to come back i don't know if they're gonna delay i don't know if it's immediate i could have to wait a year two years for this specific car to come back and then someone mentioned a good point what if it ended up being the best in the spec and i miss it and of course that's exactly what happened <laughs> and car number three right from the store is the mclaren 720s liberty <laughs> Oh, Liberty Walk Edition. What a car. What a car. Now, the thing is, I don't like the McLaren 720. I prefer stuff. I mean, do I even like the Senna? Do I even like any McLaren? I mean, they're British, and that's cool. But no, I I don't know if I could say I like a single McLaren. Let's see what we can do to this thing. I, I haven't driven it around yet. Can we actually change the color to custom? We can change to custom colors. Very nice. The But let's see what we can do. Wait, visual pass. It's going to be rims, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, at that point, why even let us change the rims? Force people to keep these, because any of these look hor horrid. And also add more rims and material change, please and thank you. So, liveries, what have people done? Oh my lord! Every time! Without fail! Does she even need her rear end out? No, she doesn't! <laughs> Without fail every time. I just and you know what the worst thing is. You know what the worst thing is. This is a, actually a really good livery. So if she didn't have her bottom out, 
I would actually go with this livery. If I didn't create content on this game and need to cover it up for the content creation side of it, I would go with this livery. That is so annoying. Oh, oh, people have done some insane work on this. Holy, shout out to the livery creators because they seem to be back. And that's impressive because the livery creator in this game is busted. It's busted big time. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's so well done. A live extreme? Crew 2 reference? That's so cool. What? This car has brought out the best in livery creation. And I'm absolutely going with the uh, the Crew 2 reference. For a specific reason. Now, did I even get these tires? I don't know if I did. I did. Oh, no, I'm ruining the car. <laughs> But they're crude to the TC2, TC2 tires. I'm not gonna go with any tires. I will, I'll go with the smoke. We'll just go blue smoke. Nos, now this is where I can have some fun. Guess we just need something real, real multicolored. Okay, yeah, I changed my mind and can change the complete design of the thing. It's completely different now. Whoopsie. Let's check my engine sound tier list. What do we go with? What did I put high up on my tier list? Ultra Charger, V8 Modded. I don't really want to listen to a whine right now. V8 Modded. Okay, what about the kits wise? Hoon it up, Redliner. Ooh, that's a shout. This is this thing stock. Big time man. This is this thing with the Hoon It Up kit. Yes, I changed the style again. Look, I can't decide. Ooh! <laughs> Damn it. Ooh! Oh, I love that NOS. Hang on. That NOS is great. Okay. Oh, stay in control. That NOS is perfect for this. Yeah, I'm keeping this style of a car. Oh, that NOS still looks so cool. Damn, I love it. And we got the live extreme as well. Oh, this thing is, this thing feels, oh, okay. It feels quick and also way too chaotic. Oh, that, it took that clean. I mean, I'm getting caught up to, but I don't know what car that guy's in. This thing, however, it feels nimble, not quick. But it feels nimble. And I hope you guessed 8th. But honestly, if you guessed ninth, that might be on the cards now. Mr. Ninth is coming up to me. Oh, God. I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. Don't clip it. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, that's 8th guaranteed. One thing I did notice when I made my video being like, oh, here's everything new in this, in this week of the crew. Someone did mention, oh, so it's all... It's not a single new license. It's all redone cars. It's all edition cars. And you know what? They're 100% right, and I didn't even think about it. I mean, obviously, the ones that are in the Crew 2 and the ones that are just sort of reruns, like the Main Stage Legacy or the RX3 Raijo Edition, those are obviously not new, but the KRC Japan is just an edition S14. This thing is just an edition 720S. I'm glad the island's coming around the corner, because, yeah... Not a single one of these is brand new. Chat, yeah, I guess you could say we ate. I guess you could say that. Well, I guess it's not a surprise then that they've been really confused. <laughs> also, this week in the crew, they seem to have compl- What did I just- What? How did I just get forced into a grand race? Why can you still interact with the open world grand race menu when you're in the pause menu? You may have noticed this week in the crew, they accidentally, well, they got some of it right. So the Liberty Walk edition BMW, there's obvious confusion because this is a BMW Liberty Walk edition. Then we've got the Toyota GR Supra Liberty Walk edition. Then we've got the Haru, which I'll talk about. But they accidentally put the wrong McLaren 720 as the Liberty Walk XP bonus. <laughs> but it gets even more confusing because even though it counts as the XP bonus for this week, and it actually is XP boosted where the Liberty Walk 720S isn't, when you actually try and use it right, in anything, the game the will swap changer. it out. So it counts as XP boosted and it doesn't. The Nissan GTR Harrow Edition. Let's talk about this thing. Because I'm not going to recustomize it. I think this thing looks 
phenomenal already. I changed it to blue. It's normally like a pinkish. And then I uh, whacked this livery on it. This very nice livery. And that now, uh, now I have this thing. You know what's funny about this thing? Back in the Crew 2, they announced Liberty Walk for the Crew Motorfest. They confirmed that it was going to be coming to the Crew Motorfest. But at the time, obviously the Crew 2 didn't have Liberty Walk. Well, then this thing gets announced just a little bit later. Or around the same time, maybe even a bit before. The GTR Haru Edition. And at the time, I've got the evidence, I even joked that this thing was just a knockoff Liberty Walk. I found it funny because they just partnered with the official Liberty Walk and then right after that, rip them off with a fake variation of their car. Is the gorilla still on the... Oh my god, it is! <laughs> the gorilla's still on the, uh, the, the mountain for this event. Now, there is actually a real GTR Liberty Walk that this is based on, but I just find it funny that this thing was not a Liberty Walk at all. And then, without changing its name, without making it Liberty Walk Edition, they have now officially counted it as a Liberty Walk car? Can they, can they do that? Are they allowed to do that? It's like how Fortnite ripped off John Wick and then got the real John Wick. Except if that old John Wick was just at some point like, no, yeah, this is, this is real now, we decided. I mean, look, I love the car. It's a sick car. I would genuinely want them to go into the game and actually call it a Liberty Walk edition. Screw calling it the Haru, just straight up rename it Liberty Walk. But I just find it silly that... Maybe it's just me who finds that silly, honestly. But that's the last sort of new and interesting thing this week in the Crew Motorfest. If you like this type of video, let me know. What did you think about it? Would you rather me do individual videos on cars and, and additions and changes? Or do you prefer this? Do you prefer this amalgamation all into one video style? Because it's new to me, I will, I'll admit. I've gone from daily slop, which took me, I'd say... Still a, while, still a while, it's, I'd say it took like an hour and a half to edit, maybe at the most. To Now these videos, which I'm genuinely editing for like five hours straight. Oh, I missed my turn. I missed my exit. This is, ah, uh, ignore my, oh, no, okay, ow. Yeah, my bad, my bad, okay. I mean, come on now, fellas. I've got 100,000 subscribers. I can't just be making slop anymore. I'm, I've got 100,000 subscribers. Play button soon, by the way. Who am I kidding? There is bigger channels who make daily slop. Oh well, that's about it for me in a bit.